Hi everyone, we're back here in the Better Homes and Gardens Test Kitchen in Des Moines, Iowa, and we really have saved the best, at least the sweetest for last. We're talking about desserts with Jan and Lynn. This is beautiful, though I have to say, it looks like maybe one of those things I would look at on Pinterest and say, no, 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 that is way too hard to make. No, no, it's so easy. If you can make cookies, you can do this, and the decoration's not even hard. It's very simple, but what is really clever about this is how you put them together. And we love it because it will either fill your cookie tray, but it might also fill your mantle. It's a great way to bake and decorate. Yeah, so it's called a cookie terraria. A cookie That's terraria. Right. Okay. And up next, Maggie, one of our editors, will show you how easy it is. Let's take a look. It all starts with royal icing. Royal icing is basically a mix of powdered sugar, cream of tartar, vanilla, water, and meringue powder. Now, if you've never worked with meringue powder, it's an egg white substitute that you can find in the baking aisle of your grocery store. We're gonna start with our mixer, and we keep going until it's stiff. This is gonna take about seven to 10 minutes. The meringue powder that I mentioned, that gives you that glossy finish that we love. So our royal icing is all ready to go, and we've placed it in a piping bag with a small round tip. So for our mushrooms, all we have to do is pipe small dots onto the top. Look at that nice royal icing, like it's already starting to dry. You can pick it up and it's not going anywhere. So let's do a tree. A few lines and you have a cute little tree look. You can master lines and dots. You can make these adorable little guys. You don't have to be a master cookie decorator to be able to achieve this look. Now, as I was rolling out my cookies, I saved the scraps and made little triangles. These are our kickstands. I'm just going to affix this to the back of my tree. Once it's set up, you can stand them up like this and then add them to your terrarium. Now for our gingerbread houses. An easy way to make a template for a gingerbread house is to use graph paper. You wanna have six pieces total. As you can see, I've piped the sides and the tops with just some lines and some little doors, which is super cute. You let these dry overnight to ensure the royal icing is set. We're gonna flip one of the front or backs over and we're gonna pipe a line along the edge. We'll take one of our sides and stack it so that the edges meet. We'll attach our sides, we'll attach our roof, and you'll end up with a cute little house just like this. We frosted the roof and coated it with a little sanding sugar for that snowy effect. And how sweet is that? Okay, I understand a little bit more now, so I'm excited to try this. We get to try and make one? <laughs> Do, right. yeah. Okay. It's so easy. In fact, you just start with sugar in your jar. Okay. And we did that for you. So Ooh, step yeah. one is done. Yes. And then tuck some cookies in, but tuck them into the, the sugar like snow so they'll stand up. It helps to anchor them. Okay, so I'm going to do my trees first because I feel like they can be my forest and they, yes. they can be bigger. And then we'll put the little a little bunny people or, or, or what is that's that? a mushroom. Oh, that's a little mushroom. Because <laughs> <laughs> every forest has that's mushrooms. mushrooms. That's right. It's so great. And you can tuck a bunny in. A put, tuck a bunny in. The bunny for good luck, maybe sure. in the front. Okay. And then right. put your lid on, or if you're going to add one more extra. Okay. Them, uh, you know, why not? <laughs> why I'm, not? I'm thinking right it's now adorable. this would also be an adorable teacher gift. Yep, you could even slip a gift card right in there, and I love that they idea. would say, oh my goodness, who gave me the cookie terraria? <laughs> you're going to get extra points for that, too. Yeah. Okay. Put your lid on. Put your lid on. These are great glasses, too, if I whack them. They're wet jars. Mm -hmm. We okay. love them. That's and then it, we finished them with just a rustic ribbon. Okay, so just tie that on there. But you can also find these little twinkle lights that are battery operated, and so you can wrap this around. Say if you had a mantle or these bigger jars, you could wrap the lights all around and just tuck. Oops, like a ribbon. Yeah, okay. like a ribbon, and then... It adds a lot of twinkles, so, so it's you. really fun. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's another take on the gingerbread house, which a lot of people it's do, but this would be just something so different. Easy. Yeah. So yeah. Easy. yeah. A little less time to consume it. Absolutely. Yeah. I've had so much fun here, and I'm hoping that you guys can uh, send us home with a souvenir. We would really love it at Better Connecticut if the two of you would sign our Better Homes and Gardens to. cookbook. We, we would, would love, love to. to. Thank you. Welcome. I'll take it home to Scott and everyone on the Better Connecticut crew and tell them how much fun we had. We love that. It was fun, fun to have you. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you much. So much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. All right, my food is ready, and I think it looks great, and it smells just as good. Hi. Hey, how are you? It smells so 
good in here. Doesn't it? Here, let me take your coat. That is so adorable. Yeah, that's the cookie terrarium that I learned how to make when I was at the test kitchen in Des Moines. All right, so tell me all about Des Moines. Did you have fun? I did. Mm, good to see you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy to be home for the holidays, though. But did you make all this yourself? Uh, maybe. You ready to eat? <laughs> yes, but really, seriously, did you make all of this? All right, so maybe I had a little help. All right, maybe I had a lot of help, but all the recipes came out of the Bennett Homes and Gardens cookbook, and I think you're going to like what I've prepared for you. What do we have here? All right, so let's start off with some shrimp. Okay. We've got some beautiful shrimp cocktail. Then I just got the roast out of the oven. It's, oh. Doesn't it smell delicious? And I've got some macaroni and cheese. I know you love your mac and cheese. I do. Thank you. I am impressed. Well, you should be. And I've got some <laughs> apple pie for dessert. And look, I got this at Big Y. It's filled with wonderful chocolates because I know you love your chocolate. Oh, I do love my Dove chocolate. Thank you so much. All right. Unfortunately, our, we're running out of time. We have to say goodbye to all the viewers out there. Yes, we have run out of time. But we want to wrap up our show with one final musical performance. By the Weathersfield High School Coralaires. Just listen and happy holidays. Happy holidays. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring for you and your new Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.